This has got to be Fortnite's biggest update ever with vaulting of weapons and unvaulting of weapons, including 14 days of summer and a new weapon every single day and a new LTM every single day. Boy, it's going to be good. So hit that like button if you are excited for this video because it is going to be crazy. So starting out, we know that the new revolver came out today because the past couple days it was announced in the news page of Fortnite. It is an epic and legendary version of the old revolver. It fires medium ammo just like the old one and it holds 6 rounds and it's 63 to 66 damage per shot, headshot multiplier of 2 and it's available everywhere in the game so pretty cool. Alright so now on to everything that was vaulted in the game. The rare tactical AR, so the blue tactical AR was vaulted, I'm not sure why. Impulse grenades were vaulted, rift to goes were vaulted, and pirate cannons were vaulted. Alright, now on to the crazy stuff, everything that was unvaulted. Alright guys, are you ready for this? The uncommon and rare pump shotgun, ladies and gentlemen. This is official, it's not just for a day, it is back in the game permanently. Holy cow, this, this is insane, I've been waiting for this. I knew they'd bring it back. Oh my god, hit that like button if you guys are excited for this. However, you cannot find the pump shotgun in chests. It's only available in floor loot and vending machines, which is pretty weird because Fortnite's been messing around with all their shotguns. They said there's been a lot of feedback around the tactical shotgun and combat shotgun effectiveness. And so we're experimenting with a world where the pump shotgun joins the current shotgun lineup. So yeah, they're just messing with stuff right now. They could bring it back in chests or they could take the shotgun out, which if they do, Holy cow, I'll be so mad. Alright, anyway, shockwave grenades are back in the game. Honestly, I love these things because there's no fall damage. You can literally fly so far with these things. The suppressed SMG is back too. Oh my god. This gun has so much love to it. And when they took it out, everyone was so disappointed because there was barely any SMGs. There's only one SMG. It's the burst, which thing's pretty good. But now we got the suppressed back, so that's super awesome. And along with the brand new revolver coming to the game, they did unvault the common, uncommon, and rare revolver. So the OG revolver is back in the game. Not too excited. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but I really wouldn't pick it up. So now moving on to some small changes in this update. So the tactical shotgun, the availability from floor loot reduced from 8.19% to 5.4%, meaning it's going to be harder to find the tactical shotgun on the floor. And the headshot multiplier increased from 2 to 2.25, so not much of a change there. The burst SMG, there's availability adjustments, so availability from floor loot reduced from 5.03% to 3.1%, so this one will be a little bit easier to find, not much though, just a slight change. Availability from chest reduced from 18.66% to 10.32%, so that's a pretty big change, it's almost half, so it'll be harder to find the burst SMG in chest. And then for balance adjustments, the base accuracy increased by 13.6%. Jumping accuracy penalty reduced from 15% to 5%. Wow, that's a huge change. Sprinting accuracy penalty reduced from 30% to 20%. Also pretty big change. Base damage increased from 23, 24, 25 to 24, 25, 26. So you're getting that extra one damage, which can be huge in situations. All right, the semi-auto sniper rifle the availability from floor loot reduced from 0.65% to 0.44%. So, another big change, but that's alright. Availability from chest reduced from 5.1% to 3.4%. So, I think they're making this one just a little bit less common. The flint knock pistol. Availability from floor loot reduced from 1.97% to 1.32%. Infantry rifle increased the epic and legendary infantry rifle clip size from 8 to 10 oh my god that's huge because i like the infantry rifle honestly i will pick up the epic and legendary variants over like sometimes a scar it, it depends though most of the time i'll take the scar but if i'm feeling it i will take it so that is a huge change the minigun increased player damage from 18 19 to 20 to 21 so that's a pretty big increase right there all right by two the drum gun reduced clip size from 50 to 40. I knew they were going to do this at some point just because how much you can spray with this gun. It's crazy. Reduced fire rate from 9 to 8. All right, so now a slower fire rate, but not too bad. And since the unvaulting of the drum gun has outperformed in unattended areas, this adjustment should help create more counterplay in combat. All right, so for the heavy AR, increased damage from 36, 38, and 40 to 38, 40, and 42. I think this was similar to what it was like 
before. I think it was a little bit higher. So yeah, they're bumping it back up just a little bit. And the heavy AR usage rates aren't quite where we like this adjustment to damage is intended to offset some of the downsides of the weapon. Because yeah, this weapon can be kind of bad sometimes. All right, and last but not least, Supply Llamas. They have made a change to Llamas in the game. You can now get 350 materials of each instead of 200. That's huge. And there's not only three llamas on the map now, there are five, so better chance of finding them, so that's pretty cool. I know I usually don't talk much about creative, but there's a couple of cool things that were just added. Kevin prefabs and gallery, so you know Kevin the Cube, yeah, it's pretty cool. So they've got four new prefabs, Kevin Lake House Island, Kevin Destroyed Cube Island, Kevin Destroyed Dino Island, Kevin Destroyed House Island, so they're adding Kevin back into creative, which is pretty cool. I'm not even going to list all of them because they've added 11 new galleries based off of Kevin the Cube. So yeah, pretty cool. Go check it out if you like creative. And with the 14 days of summer, we do get a weapon unvaulted every day. However, it only lasts for that one day. And today we did get the LMG back. This was honestly one of my favorite weapons before the drum gun came out because it has 100 bullets in a clip, which is just crazy. All right, so now moving on to the LTM. So today we got a mode called Splashdown. It is squads and there's only water balloons in the game and they are deadly so I'm pretty sure if you hit someone with a water balloon they are dead and basically the first team to get the target number of eliminations wins so this is pretty cool so we're gonna be getting a new LTM every single day including the John Wick's bounty it will be returning for one of those days so stay tuned for that so yeah that is gonna conclude everything in this update this was huge this is the biggest update ever in Fortnite it feels like honestly with everything they brought back Holy cow, we are finally done. So ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button to support this video. And be sure to subscribe if you're new, guys. Please, it really helps me out. I'm trying to hit 1,000. I don't know when, but just whenever I can, that would be awesome. And guys, remember to check out my merch, too. It really means a lot if you guys buy stuff. And if you guys want to get a free shout-out in my next video, just gift me anything. My epic is It's Parker Plays, and that's greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.